Poor guy. Joining me now is Chris's cousin Suzanne Kane, who's also a radio DJ in Dublin, and relationship expert Paul Carrick Brunson. Oh, Suzanne, he'll be he'll be he'll be kicking himself, won't he? He'll be beating himself up over this one. Oh, Lorraine, welcome to Dublin. Uh, things are a little bit more cheery this morning for me than they are for Christopher. I know. Oh, do you know what? I work on a telly show over here as well, and we did some trials. And about two or three weeks ago before he left, I was like, come here, you'll be absolutely grand. Don't be worrying. You know, the worst thing you have to do is jump out of a plane. And then at about 20 past nine last night, my phone was absolutely lit up with people going, oh my God, your poor cousin. I was like, it was just the worst ever. But in fairness to him, I think he's probably gone down in celeb history as the worst trial ever. Like he really tried and he was so vulnerable and really wanted to do well. But watching it at home, it was just like a behind the cushion going, come on, Christopher, you've got this. And they're all going to get hungry, aren't they? And they're all going to get a bit tetchy now. Yeah, well, I suppose they're in there a little while now as well, just kind of by the nature of what it is and hanging around the jungle, you tend to get a little bit hungry. It's the walking back in, isn't it? There was yes. the shot where like you stand in front of Ant and Deck and he like threw the star down. It was just like one star. And then he, I would think, would probably have walked in naturally and done the, hey guys, you know, I got yeah, one and went yeah. like, no jokes, I got 11 where... It was absolutely no jokes. Like he just got the one. And in fairness, our family WhatsApp group was lit last night. We were all flat out. And me and my brothers were like, it's his birthday in February. And we were like, do you think it's too soon to maybe get him like a set of spotters for his birthday? <laughs> we're like, should we, <laughs> should we probably not do that? Cause they're like, there's like 50 on like our big family, like our home's family WhatsApp group. And then me and my brothers like every night jump on. So last night it was just like, that moment of realisation that it wasn't going to be his trial. Oh, for goodness sake. Listen, stay with <laughs> us, because tensions are growing in the camp. Last night we saw Boy George getting a wee bit frustrated. £35 billion pounds a year. So what's the... Why do you sneer at spending less on arms? No, I don't. I don't. I, I, I just think it's a... Go on, what, 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 what's your view on it? Matt, just yeah. quickly, you know when you asked whose socks they were, I said to put them over here? What? Remember the socks from this morning? I said, just stick them on my... Yes. I put... think? She's trying to save you. Yes. Very interesting. I just noticed, like, sometimes when I start a debate with Matt, Scarlett comes in and kind of shuts me down a bit or tries to change the subject. And I don't know whether Scarlett's got political aspirations, but sorry. I'm just not going to stop talking. I will say what I want. He's not going to stop talking. He will say what he wants. <laughs> and we shut him up there, didn't we? Which was quite bad. And um, Paul, really yes. good to see you. Now, human nature, we're not very good at confrontation, are we? And and there's been a lot of kind of like talking amongst themselves, but not but not confronting. Absolutely. We, we are terrible at this. And the reason why is because we all like to avoid conflict. We're people pleasers, right? Of course we are. We, we, and, and the problem with this is that it ultimately hurts us. Mm. And I would like to see more, not just transparency, but I'd like to see more direct conversation happening. Right. Opposed to running behind the camera and having uh, that talk. Exactly. Because you can confront people without being confrontational. It's I, difficult, but you can do it, can't I, you? I, absolutely. I mean, one of the most important things to do is that after you have that confrontation is affirm the person. Let mm. them know what you learned from the conversation. But you can have that, and when you have that, you're ultimately more respected. Exactly. Now, I'm going to have to check my notes here because people are thinking that Matt Hancock <laughs> is a sex symbol. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, is that what? Y yes, heartthrob. <laughs> I've heard sexy daddy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Really? What's going on? <laughs> Am I out of step? What's happening? <laughs> no, sorry. This, this makes complete sense to me. Okay. Right. This, this is the reason why. It's because there's something called the proximity principle, oh. which simply states that the closer you get to someone, the more connected you feel. And I believe what's happening is that people are seeing Matt Hancock in a different light. Sure. They also, most people see themselves as underdogs. And he's the underdog who's now winning in this environment. And so therefore they feel more connected. And he now is Sexy Hancock. Sexy Is he though? Is he though? Is he though? <laughs> Women of Britain, and indeed some men of Britain, uh, do, do get in touch with me and let me know whether I am, I am completely out of step with this. There's going to be a trial tonight. And I'm not sure, what, what's it called again? I can't remember. Scare ground, was it? Was it scare ground? I think it was. Yes, Jill and Owen and Mike are going to be doing this one, I believe. This will be sneaky preview. Oh, that looks horrendous, Paul. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, see, no. I wouldn't do it. 
No. Go and do it. I couldn't do it. They're going in the, their heads are going to be in water. But do you know what? I think they all get so bored in there that they want to do things. Oh, oh yeah, they, they, you want to do things. But also, you need to eat. This is the problem. I know. <laughs> and Chris I, only getting one star. Oh, my yeah. goodness. You, you know, I feel terrible for, for Chris because you could tell he wanted it. Of course. And he wanted it not just for him, but he wanted it for the group. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love, is that you're seeing camaraderie happening, you're seeing some real love happening within the group. You are indeed, and, and, a, and a sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> Words you thought you would never say. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Suzanne.